There are a number of things that we take for granted every day that can be affected by the sun. Louis Lanzarotti is a space physicist at Bell Labs. He tracks advances in telecommunications and is keenly aware of the sun's potential. It is ironical that as we've become more high-tech and we become more wired, we have tended to forget nature. And in fact, here in New York City, if we go out at night, we don't see the stars in the Milky Way and we're not enamored of the sky anymore because all the lights block the sky out. It's the same way with the sun. We don't recognize what the sun can do in terms of disturbances on the Earth. Even though we are so-called high-tech, we still forget that nature is a very important player in our everyday existence. As we hurtle through a high-tech age, we're becoming more dependent on our sophisticated devices. But the very advances that seem to free us from the cycle of day and night also bind us to the sun in new and unexpected ways. When we approach solar max, the sun is more likely to blast Earth with high energy particles. Our fast growing networks, power cables, oil pipelines, and telephone wires all serve as giant lightning rods to catch the dangerous power of solar outbursts. At any moment, the sun could leave us in the dark. Nature can always throw us a curveball we've known since we've monitored the sun rather closely for the last 150, 200 years. And so with a more wired world, we need to be very careful and we need to be cautious and we need to look at all the what ifs to see if nature can get us or not, even if this is not a worse solar maximum than the last two or three that we've gone through. Because several in the last have caused problems.